In this tutorial, we will capture a live camera feed in Telestream Wirecast, produce it, and send it to the Wowza streaming engine via a live RTMP stream. Before you proceed, please make sure you have installed Wowza streaming engine. If you haven't, please refer to the video tutorial on how to do so. You will also need to visit the Telestream website and download the Wirecast software. Telestream Wirecast is a cross-platform, all-in-one, live streaming production software solution that enables you to capture your live feeds from multiple cameras, computer desktop, capture cards, and more. You can produce your broadcast with professional features like live switching, transitions, and titles, and then encode a live stream for broadcast. The software is available on both Windows and Mac. You can purchase a license or try it out before you buy it. For this demo, we will be using Wirecast version 5 for the Mac. The application is fully functional in trial mode, but your broadcast will contain both video and audio watermarks. I have installed Wirecast and opened the program. I have added some logo and title graphics, and will now add my webcam feed as well. When I select the camera, it appears in the preview area. Clicking the arrow will push that view to the live area. I will now add the logo and title graphics as well. So now that I have produced my stream in Wirecast, how do I get this high quality stream out to the world and make sure it can play reliably on any device anywhere? That is where the Wowza streaming engine fits in. It provides an easy and affordable solution that eliminates the need for separate encoders and networks for delivering your live video and audio stream to multiple protocols, screens, and platforms. All I need to do is push one live stream to the Wowza streaming engine via RTMP, and Wowza will take care of the rest. I will open the Wowza streaming engine manager in my browser. Wowza streaming engine comes pre-configured with a live application, and that is what I will use to create the connection with Wirecast. The first thing I will do is go into the server section and make sure I have a publisher set up. I will use these credentials to pass the stream from Wirecast into Wowza. You can also add a new publisher that is specific to Wirecast. Next, I will click on Applications and select the live application. In the Incoming Publishers section, I can see the application connection settings I will need to enter into Wirecast to be able to publish my stream to the Wowza streaming engine. This includes the host server IP, port number, and application name. This is a local installation of Wowza and a local IP address. However, the process is the same regardless of if the server is hosted on your local network, a hosted server, or in the cloud. Before I continue, I just want to show that I don't have any current incoming streams in this live application. Let's go back to the incoming publishers section. Now we are ready to set up the connection to Wowza and Wirecast. When I click on the stream button, I'm given the option to set up a connection to my RTMP server. I click on OK, and now I can configure the output settings to connect to the Wowza streaming engine. Copy the IP address from Wowza and paste it into the address field in Wirecast. That is the best way to make sure you don't mistype it. Double check the port number and application name as well. You can also choose to name your stream. And finally, you will need to enter the username and password publisher credentials you set up in the Wowza streaming engine. I will name this configuration Wowza streaming engine so I can use it for future streams. Finally, choose an encoding preset from the drop-down list that supports H.264 encoding. You can specify the resolution, video and audio bitrate, as well as other settings, and then save your preset for future use. For this example, I will stick with the 720p preset. When I click on the Stream button, Wirecast will send the live view as a stream to the Wowza streaming engine. If you receive an error at this time, click on the Edit button and double-check the server settings and credentials. Now we can return to the Wowza streaming engine and click on Incoming Streams. I can see my incoming Wirecast stream and the IP address of that stream. 
clicking on the record button will begin to record that stream immediately. By default, the recording is saved in MP4 format, and that can be used for archive or video on demand purposes. To view a preview of the stream, click on the Test Players button, and then on Start to preview the incoming RTMP stream. The WASA streaming engine is converting the incoming RTMP to all the protocols you have selected in the live application, including RTMP, HDS, Microsoft Smooth, MPEG Dash, and Apple HLS. Please make sure you have a compatible browser that is able to play these protocols. For mobile playback, you can email yourself the links to preview on your device. In this example, I also have DVR enabled, which allows me to pause the playback and rewind it to an earlier time during the recording. If I return to Wirecast and make changes to my production, I can push those changes to the live view switch back to the test players and see those updates in real time. Telestream is part of the Works with Wowza partner program. This partnership enables tight integration between Wirecast and the Wowza streaming engine, making it easier than ever to create your live production and leverage the Wowza streaming engine to deliver your high quality stream to any device, anywhere.